Hi everyone, Zoltan here and this time we're gonna take a look at the HP Z200 workstation machine. So here is this uh, beautiful black case with the HP logo and you can see the Z200 here, power and button, there is a blue LED I guess and we have two USB 2s, a headphone, microphone and I don't know this kind of connection so if you know what this is please tell me and yeah Z200 workstation it comes with Intel Xeon processor and Windows 7 installed here is the sticker with the serial key so let's take a look sorry about the camera uh, okay and in the back we have uh, PS2 for the keyboard, PS2 for the mouse, uh, display port for the EGP maybe? I'm not sure if it has an EGP. Uh, a DVI, uh, USB ports, uh, gigabit internet and onboard audio and also here we have graphics card with DVI and two HDMI ports if I'm right. It looks HDMI, but <laughs> let me see. So, two and three. Looking at the corner, yeah, it's a uh, HDMI. Uh, display port is a bit different. Uh, I can't say for sure, uh, but we'll see. So, let's uh, take a look inside. It should open easily. Uh, this is the first time I'm taking a look, so I'm interested. It's gonna fall. Okay, so last time we checked the an other HP machine, and it uh, it looks pretty similar. So we have uh, these uh, plastic holders for the drives. I think we have a DVD writer here. Um, there is a hard drive. It's a, it's a one terabyte drive. Uh, it's from Hitachi, so it's not the Western Digital one. And we have a large. It's pretty large. I mean, the height of this uh, power supply is uh, pretty large. Um, so if it takes too much time, I want to see how much. Total output is uh, 320 watts. Uh, doesn't sound too much for me. I really hope it will be able to handle a better graphics card. Because this is going to be a League of Legends PC in the future. So, uh, unfortunately we have four memory sticks installed. So, no upgrades here. Uh, two gigabyte sticks. So, 8 gigabytes in total, it will be fine for now, but uh, later it might be, um, yeah, 16 would be better. We have uh, case cooling here and a large CPU fan, it's aluminium, not too tall, but the fan is uh, a really large one. It's uh, quiet, basically, but in the BIOS, BIOS you can set it so really loud as well. And it can cool it really, really well. It's a Xeon processor X3450, I guess. So it's at the level of an old i7. It's the 1156 uh, socket, so the 860 or 870 from the i7s. So four cores, eight threads in total, eight megabyte of L3 cache. And the base clock is 2.8 gigahertz, but some places it says uh, 2.66. It can turbo boost up to 3.2, but uh, in Windows I've seen 3.33 as well. Uh, really, really decent uh, CPU. So an old i7, it could be at the performance as the Ivy Bridge uh, 30. 570 really close to it uh, if it means something uh, to you and this card is the NVIDIA 
uh, Quadro FX uh, uh, 580, which has 32 CUDA cores, which is not much. It uses the G92 core, so it's like an um, 8600 uh, GT or uh, 85, um, sorry, 9500 GT uh, with 128 bit memory bus uh, DDR3, so it's around 25 gigabit per second. It's not bad, it can handle stuff, but I'm planning to just replace uh, this with the 750Ti. And this is the other i3 PC with the i3-550, which actually the same uh, CPU architecture 1156 and um, yeah, but only 3.2 uh, gigahertz, um, yeah, not bad, um, just uh, two cores and four threads only, so it's like half of this CPU and only four gigabytes of memory, but it has the 750Ti now, so sorry if I'm talking too much about other stuff. We have this large uh, motherboard here, uh, serial at the ports, I see like a six of it, some PCI, another PCI Express slot, so maybe Crossfire would be fine. Um, SLI, I don't think so, because it needs an NVIDIA chip. So it's the HB motherboard at the um, 3450 chipset, yeah, same number as the CPU. Um, yeah, I already installed uh, Windows 10 on this PC, it's running uh, extremely well. So let me just uh, show you some uh, benchmark results or something. So here you can see this is the uh, chipset and the socket and this uh, CPU as this one. Yeah, it says uh, 2.66, 95 watts, 8 megabyte. Uh, uh, quad core and 1333 megabyte, uh, megahertz of memory support 16 has only four slots so this is basically HP's website I will share the link and you can check the specifications I think interesting part would be how it will go with the 750Ti if you guys have uh, such PC and want to upgrade it to a gaming PC. Okay, so a quick look here. I just made it on the PC actually, so it's the Xeon 3450. Uh, yeah, basically it can scale back to the 9 multiplier and with the 24 multiplier it's at 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, so this is the lowest uh, uh, core clock. 4 cores, 8 threads and yeah, basically it's an i7 of its generation, but with ECC support and yeah, it should be trustworthy. And also I mean, okay, so it had the Quadro FX uh, uh, 5800, the G96 GPU. And yeah, it's basically what I just mentioned, really small, uh, slow Quadro, but the memory bandwidth is... Uh, Acceptable. I've made some Cinebench test marking here. Uh, here is the OpenGL test. Uh, here is the Quadro card. I hope it's uh, viewable compared to some old graphics card like the GT620. And it's lower. So, yeah, it's a pretty uh, low end graphics card these days. What's, uh, it's a Quadro. And. Uh, just a quick run with the 3D Mark 2006. This CPU 8 gigabytes, Windows 10, and as you can see, the CPU score is really decent, about uh, 5,000. Should remember the two and three scores are low, around 2,000, and the overall score is closer to the CPU, uh, 5,306. So yeah. <clears throat> Lego of Legends is okay with it, basically, and I've tried my game as well, Lillian, uh, which is unplayable with this uh, graphics card. Basically, it's Unreal Engine 4. Um, 
yeah, that's it for um, the PC. <clears throat> yeah, basically the standard HP PC, but um, the CPU is something I, I'm really happy about, uh, considering, um, yeah, the price of this PC. It was free for me, uh, so yeah, it's it's really nice. So I will replace the graphics card. I will hope it works. And maybe I will do some tests as well. And this uh, is the 750Ti from Inno 3D. Uh, it's taking up uh, two slots and it doesn't need any uh, PCI Express uh, power connector. Simple PCI Express uh, bus here. Yeah, a really short card compared to my hand, maybe. Uh, yeah, nice one fan, uh, quiet, almost uh, two DVI ports and a mini HDMI here. It's decent. General 750Ti. I hope it uh, won't need much power and it will be just a perfect replacement for the Quadro card. Let me just uh, take a look. So here's the Quadro, I haven't removed it. No screws in uh, the Z200. There is some way this uh, plastic part you have to press, I guess, or from the other side. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe um, I'm just leaving this in the video because it could be helpful if uh, you want to figure out how to do. Yeah, so hard to push this part and I guess this part too. Yeah, so uh, you are pushing these two green parts here so it will slide outside uh, this little... Um, card holder, I guess, and I'm not sure there is a little plastic uh, thing on the PC Express bus as well, which you have to move a little if uh, you want to um, get the graphics card out, and yeah, it's done, so yeah, it's an OEM looking green uh, PCB with a Quadro logo on it, one slot cooler, new extra power connector needed, a very very little uh, fan, but it was really quiet, so no issues with that. Yeah, Quadro FX 8, uh, 580, sorry, now uh, let's compare them in size. Yeah, almost the, the exact same length. The Quadro PCB is just a little longer. Yeah, but it's one slot. And this is aluminium, a plate with a sticker on it. Uh, feels like uh, paper. No, it's, it's really, really part of the aluminium. Uh, Uh, cooler here. Yeah. Really dense. Cooling. Yeah, so this is the FX580. Looks nice. And this replacement will be fast as well. So I just change the graphics cards and uh, install drivers, try out the PC. So here is the HP Z200 uh, with the 750Ti installed and looks like the power supply is uh, more than enough for this uh, GPU. Uh, I've run uh, 3D Mark 2006 and it was running greatly with a score of uh, 18,000. As I mentioned, here is this uh, blue status LED and also the screen uh, HDD utilization LED. 
Um, yeah, basically, so if you have this uh, kind of PC and you want to upgrade it with a decent uh, graphics card, the 750 Ti is a good choice. Also, I think a 950 or a 1030 uh, would be great as well. Um, in the background, here is uh, Lilian, right click. And uh, this uh, based on the Unreal Engine um, 4, and it's uh, really taxing on your PC. Uh, this is running now at uh, 1600 by 900, everything at uh, the max settings, and it's uh, pretty smooth actually. So yeah, um, basically that's it uh, for this video. If you have uh, any questions or want to make a closer look on the motherboard or any part of these uh, Z200s, uh, please uh, feel free to ask uh, in the comment section. And uh, thank you so much for watching and like the video if you liked it and please subscribe if you can. And uh, thank you, um, bye bye.